Thank you. You know, <clears throat> that was a wonderful little town I grew up in, Corvallis, Oregon. It was just great. And they had a drive-in there called the Toot and Tell. That was one of the drive-ins. Isn't that a great name? Toot and Tell. The Chat and Chew. That was one of them. Anyway, let me tell you about my little song. I mean, my little town. I'm going to take you on a tour of it. Oh, my scoutmaster, he was great. I was in the scouts, man. I, I was a mountain climber. We took cross-country ski trips, you know, with 50-pound packs, 30 miles, 15 feet of snow. We freezed our asses off, little kids, you know. We were tough, fishing. My scoutmaster's name was, was Virgil Spurgeon. We used to call him Virgin Spurgeon. Seventh grade, we just roll on the ground laughing at that. We thought it was so funny. Unfortunately, my sense of humor has not really evolved much beyond that point, I'm sure. <laughs> you probably already figured that out. On the other hand, looking at you folks, I think I'm, it's going to be just fine, right? We're all going to... Okay, here we go. Sign says Kerbalis population 30,000 drive with care. With the 13 local churches in gold letters listed over there. Beside that long list of service clubs with bullet holes dotting all the eyes. It's nice to be back home again. This country town looks good to city eyes. I see the river still is pretty That little steel bridge still looks the same I remember it is bigger After 13 years your memory sure plays games To see that one half of the city park's been paid For city parking's hard to take But the Benton County Courthouse sure looks proud In its fresh new coat of paint There's McHenry's funeral home where every winter I would shovel snow. Me and Walter Johnson earning dimes to take our girlfriends to the show. We always double dated, cause at 12 I was as shy as you can get. <laughs> Junior high school skating parties, couples only always made me sweat. There it is, Kerbalis High, man, I paid some dues inside those halls. For a letter on my sweater, Lord, I would have given anything at all. But it's hard to be a hero when the only scores you make are in your dreams. If I knew then what I know now, at least I think I would have made the team. There's the house where Janice lived. She sure was a pretty little thing. <laughs> We'd walk home from rally dances, neck for hours in her back porch swing. Back when nice girls only went so far and bad girls only scared good boys like me. If I knew then what I know now, I'm certain I'd have done things differently. To sort out your memories and try to separate them's quite a job. Like a trick or treat candy bag of chocolates, nuts, and red hots in a glob. <laughs> Still, if I could live them over just for one day, I'd give anything. <laughs> Cause if I knew then what I know now, there's no doubt I'd have made out like a king. I sang that at my high school class reunion a few years ago. Went downstairs into the meeting room at the hotel, walked in, looked around, half the men, I mean half the women were pregnant. I thought, wait a minute, I'm at the wrong reunion. 
<laughs> women in my class stopped having babies a few years ago. Walked out in the hall, looked at the sign above the door, it said, class of 85. <laughs> I knew I was the wrong reunion. Walked down the hall to another room full of people, walked in, half the men looked pregnant. I knew I'd found my group. <laughs> Isn't that true? <laughs> but you know, I'll tell you what, reunions are a unique experience in one's life. Where else are you going to spend a weekend with 100 or 200 people who are your age, give or take a year? Think about it. Nowhere except at a reunion. You don't lie about your age at a reunion. Believe me. Isn't that right? If you look around, you see a lot of old people, guess what? You're looking in the mirror. It's very sobering. You know, I always leave those things with a new resolve to, to live as long as I can and to make every moment count, you know? And hope I live to be an old man and when I finally die, I go peacefully in my sleep like my grandfather did. Of course, Grandma, who was in the passenger seat, was screaming her head off. It was 